Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday here, 14 August. The drums are beating. Getting to the midpoint of August. Um, the fireworks should begin one way or the other. Um, let's see. Let's see what we got today. Retail sales of the U.S. is of interest. Let's go straight into... Uh, these charts and these prices here start with uh, long bond if you're playing long at home this is this is traveling in the right direction got down to 177 uh, 17 We've now sort of harvested two points uh, from this another eight to go this we think this is going to go down to 170 so Let's see, course short. Um, we're a little bit light on the position size here, which is a bit unnerving. We're expecting some sort of support here. Um, first trip down at 177. But uh, anyway, shit's going lower. Uh, ZN, sort of like a drunk friend of ZB. He's just sort of stumbling down the stairs a bit. Um, doing the same thing here. This is now basically gone. I don't know. Almost two points. Since the, uh, the Russian vaccine comment. And a couple semi-hot inflation prints anyway that's that uh, Bitcoin while we're down here moping around here in the mid 11 thousands not much to do uh, down through 11 thousand there should be a little bit of a shake up also up through 12 thousand similar shake up we're just sitting long trying to be opportunistic on any moves lower we don't try and break trade this shit or anything like that. Um, we try and uh, just get these things on low on low trades. Um, anyway, Bitcoin, crude, no idea. Really, literally, no idea. Weird. Uh, gold. We're selling high ones in gold. Um, Twenty. 2018 on the uh, sorry 2028 on the GC chart we we, we trade futures uh, here so it's it was 2028 was the uh, it was the big move down yesterday we got involved in the 60s um, 69s and 74s and then we bought 50s uh, I mean sorry we bought 58s and 55s just a tactical trade as rates uh, continue to go higher uh, we don't like owning gold and gold could get punished further that's the sort of dance that's going on in our head selling high ones in gold but just tactically you know uh, we're not going to see 2028 today uh, which is a super important level uh, but just kind of watch it and s see when stops are being run on the top side try and fade that shit Euro looked real bullish yesterday. We bought through that bull bear line 16 and we did harvest some cash between 16 and 56. So that was good. And it's just quite surprising at the end of the day. Um, how she just drooped. Now you can argue, we squared uh, back through 16. Um, now you can argue that this thing's in trouble down through 118. I don't know what to make a euro. I mean, one day I'm super bullish, one day I'm super bearish. We're just trying to keep this tactical. Um, I don't know. Tough one. Retail sales today. What does that mean? I don't even know. Just trade price. Uh, down through 118, there'll be some risk. 
130.06 is on the radar, 131.85 is on the radar and cable. Both important points. There'll be money to be made uh, if either of those trade. Dollar, yen, dick in a box. What the fuck? Seriously. Just no love up at one, 107. Just thick with offers. Tokyo again punched it up there. Offers punched it back down. I don't know. Don't know. Some clear air now. And now we have three tops at 107.03. Um, definitely something to watch. But pain in the ass yesterday, dollar yen. Dollars are. Um, some of our followers have keep asking me to talk about dollars are. It's an interesting one. You know, this is, we're, we're very bearish uh, emerging market currencies. We, we think they're going to get smashed much further but as ES is probing and fighting uh, for all-time highs and looks inevitably like uh, it kind of has to trade uh, all-time highs we're a little bit cautious um, shorting these emerging market currencies further so we we have like these little stretch bids in yesterday we we took a little, we, we lifted an offer yesterday as ES went through um, 33.65 there at the end of the day. Just in case, uh, we had some fun on the downside. But then as that fizzled, we just, we just scratched it. Um, so, in general, you want to look at this and just say, listen, the 50% of this whole move is going to be 17.10. 61.8 off the top of my head is going to be, I don't know, 16.88. Um, chart support is around 17. Figure, if equities go higher, this is going to this is going to break through 33 today, uh, and then you really want to start put the rifle scope on and. Um, try and buy low ones today in dollars are uh, we still think the path of least resistance resistance is up to 20 in this thing um, but if you're playing it tactically and you want to have intraday PL versus structural PL we are just we're long dollars are structurally um, but that's in a separate book the tactical book um, is buying low ones Aussie, middle of nowhere, not much to say. Euro Aussie, huh, another high up there. 65.60 is important. We've been thinking about this level and watching it now for for a week, maybe 10 days. Um, sort of a pivot, longer term pivot, bunch of highs. I don't know if equities shit the bed or... Trump kicks China in the balls, or China kicks Trump in the balls. If there's a bunch of ball kicking, um, Euro Aussie could be your horse. 65, 165.60. Aussie yen dancing up there. Didn't quite have the guts to get up through 76.90. We were dancing up there at 70. All dollar yen was. Doing its little dick in a box. 76.70 and 76.92 important levels. I don't know. I mean, instinctually, I think this is probably going to go lower um, as soon as we, as soon as we reach our destination in equities. Um, but nothing to do here at, at 76.40. Not much else to say, really. Core short fixed income is something that we really like. Some of the levels we're watching, obviously 10703 in, in um, dollar yen, we'll watch, but we probably won't trade. 118, the figure in euro is important today. Euro Aussie 16560 is 40 points away. Buying low ones in dollars are, we like that idea. 
Um, but, oh yeah, where's Dollar Swiss? 90.50. We talked about it on Twitter yesterday. It's just, it's so painful. This will be so painful to so many people, 90.50 in Dollar Swiss, that you just have to wonder if this is just going to, this is just going to get nailed. And if you look at Euro Swiss also, there'll be a lot of sort of like unprofessional dip buyers in Euro Swiss praying, leaning on the SNB who is just totally fucked. They just have the wrong position in a sinking market. They're long 800 yards of Euro Swiss. Um, you know, Euro Swiss looks bad. So imagine this. Stocks go higher. Euro Swiss doesn't care. Goes through 35. Goes through 10. Euro just does what it does. I don't know. Goes higher, I guess. And then Dollar Swiss uh, rings the bell, pops the cherry. Silence of the Lambs, 90.50. I don't know. Real awkward. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense other than positioning. Um, but this is a, a much watched level in Switzerland. There will be some pain below it. So just sharing, sharing that little nugget. I seem to be talking now about absolutely nothing, just listening to my own voice. Uh, so now I'll shut up. Wish you guys a good trading day and uh, a good weekend. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. No, talk to you Monday. Ciao.